my name is Sarah, and I'm here to introduce our interesting initial periodontal model for you. It is really important to explain to the patients about the periodontal disease, as it is an extreme concern, especially in elder patients. For better understanding, the periodontal disease progression can be described by using this model. You can start your description with a gingival view of the model and explain to your patients how does their gum look like on the model. And then, by just turning the model, continue a more detailed explanation about their alveolar bone condition at the relevant periodontal state. Or you can show them how their periodontal disease will progress if they ignore your maintenance instruction. For instance, in the healthy state, you can mention that the tooth is firmly supported by the alveolar bone and the healthy gingiva is tight against the tooth. However, on the other side, the gingivitis symptoms such as swollen gingiva can be notified. At the early periodontitis, you can mention about the red and swollen gingiva and some pathological changes that has already started in the bone. You can warn your patient that if they don't pay more attention to their oral hygiene or if they ignore the regular treatment instructions, the situation will become worse and the periodontitis continues to the moderate state. In this stage, the bacteria have already infected the alveolar bone and continue to destroy the bone structure. And your patient can see how the bone and gingival resorption continues gradually. When the periodontal disease progresses to the advanced stage, severe bone and gingival resorption would cause tooth mobility and consequently tooth loss. Indeed, an interesting feature of this model is that you can show how the mobility of the tooth on the model and explain about the mobility grade in the moderate or advanced periodontitis. Another interesting indication of this model is for the patients with bruxism a worn out occlusion and displaced root that can help you to explain the side effects of bruxism to your patients. It is our responsibility to educate our patients about the progress and consequences of periodontal disease. What do you think? How about showing our respect to the patients by spending some time for educating them? Well, think about it and let us know if you require any further information or visit our homepage for more details. Thank you so much and have a nice day.